all right we are here with a new video we're going to be discussing modern warfare 3 open beta it's great to video um so i typed down a bunch of uh pros and cons of uh, some information yesterday when i was playing i played about four to six hours and i'm gonna give you guys my official rating at the end of the video make sure you guys stick tuned or stay tuned for that um and yeah let's 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 go all right, so number one, we got map voting is back. So I don't know if Call of Duty has officially told everybody before the beta came out. But yeah, map voting is back. Um, and also, if you guys have Xbox, I think the beta is coming out for you guys on the 12th. Um, and yeah, I have PlayStation. It's already out on the PlayStation. And uh, so yeah, map voting is back. Um, speaking of just maps in general, um, when it came down to Modern Warfare 2, a lot of people didn't like some of the maps from Modern Warfare 2. And, and honestly, you know, whenever you just have any game in general, a lot of people are not going to like all of your maps, you know. So I, I can kind of understand them on, on that part. But yeah, bro, we got a lot of classic maps in, 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 in Modern Warfare 3, uh, like Favela, Rust, Terminal. They didn't have Terminal in the open beta, but I can't wait to play on Terminal. And um, obviously, like, it, it's, it's a really just smart decision just to have uh, map voting like they used to, like in the old days, because, you know, a lot of people... Would like to pick their favorite map um i'll probably say the negative to that is you know you're probably going to play like the same map like three four times in a row so for instance uh when i when i uh played yesterday on the beta i played um i think i played on the map rust for like four times in a row um people just kept picking rust they kept picking rust and, and stuff like that i mean and, and rust is a very legendary map but if you're playing it three to four to five times in a row it's going to get tired you know and you want to pick like a different map um and, and so you know hopefully you run into a lobby where you know rust isn't in though it, it, it like it isn't in like the um it isn't in like the in like the you know vote because if it is in a vote then people are going to pick rust and you're going to play the map you're going to play that rust map again over and over again until like you know uh you queue into a match and they have two different maps um so yeah map voting is back um I have snipers are one shot. Now this is specifically directed towards Warzone. Snipers have mainly always been one shot in different mul in, in different um, Call of Duty multiplayer. But this is directed towards Warzone. If you guys haven't watched my Joe um, Warzone reaction uh, when he won his first Warzone at the COD Next event, um, I remember he was full plated. By the way, he got sniped and he got instantly down. Uh, it was a headshot, I think, which is nice. Um, I feel like because of Modern Warfare 2. If you got sniped, like, you know, full armor plates or whatever, if you got sniped headshot, bro, bro, one and a half plates are just coming off. Like, you don't instantly drop down. You don't instantly get down or you don't instantly get killed. I feel like a one-shot headshot should be, like, instant kill or instant down, you know, it, well, just to me. Um, so, yeah, um, I saw that from Joe Ward's video, and that is confirmed that some snipers, I don't know yet, but uh, some snipers are uh, one-shot, one kill. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, we have um, the game, the movement, the movement. Oh my! Listen, let me tell you something. If you are a good movement player, you're gonna do well in this game. But also, if you are a player that isn't, you know, really um, good at like, you know, uh, at their movement, but you can aim like Tom Brady, bro, you're good. Like this is a game. Like I, I can see it already. Modern Warfare Three is a game where you will have both ends of the parties. Like they, they'll both excel. Right, the good, the people with the good accuracy and the people with the uh, with the good movement, they're gonna be absolutely perfect. Okay, they're gonna be good because I've seen it so many times to where I had to escape because people. The thing is, right? I'm not trying to sit here and act like you know, oh, my aim is better than everybody else. No, but I've been playing Call of Duty for a long time and like I can kind of like my aim isn't terrible. Like I'm not like a I'm not a cone. Like I'm not a noob. I can I can aim whenever it comes to just like Call of Duty in general. Um, when I ran into some players yesterday, um, and, and they were, you know, shooting at me, whatever, and like, I'm almost dead, whatever. I would use my movement to get out of that situation and pull out, uh, my pistol. Oh my God. What is it called? The, the Renetti, the Rivetti, that little, that little, uh, auto pistol, whatever, and just finish up with them. And it was so crazy to me because I can legit like movement is cracked, bro. It's crazy. So the movement is really good, but also, um, if you have really good accuracy, bro, you can do really good, too. So it's literally like the best of both worlds. Um, you don't have to worry about. I mean, obviously, I would prefer that if you are a person with good accuracy, I, I would prefer that you work on your movement. Because if you have good aim and good movement, bro, you will excel, bro. You you will drop 20, 30 plus kills in a game. I promise you. I, 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 hey, 
I like it. Let's just say it. I like that Call of Duty. I like how you implemented, you know, the whole movement thing. And I like how, you know, you made it fair, you know, for, for people with good accuracy as well. You know, people that, that don't really know how to do, like, the whole little movement thing. So, uh, I love the movement. Um, everything, the game feels very snappy. And what I mean by snappy, I mean, bro, you can literally, like, when you're in that momentum, and I don't, it, and literally, you will have to, like, play Call of Duty to know what I'm talking about. But when you're in that momentum, bro, where you get, like, one or two kills, like, you know, in a row, right, in multiplayer, and then you get that third kill, then you get that fourth kill, and you're in that flow, and you're in that momentum, bro, everything feels so light. Nothing feels heavy. Um, slide canceling is back, uh, by the way. So, hey, I can't lie. I'm slide canceling around the map. <laughs> and so, like, that flow is there. That Call of Duty flow is there. I don't know how to describe it, but like when you when you when you're um, getting killed like back to back to back to back, and you're in that like and you're like in that like LeBron James type scump like you know like you know Zen, bro. That I I can feel it right, I, and I know that sounds very weird, but if you play Call of Duty, you know what I'm talking about. Like that Zen, you can get that Zen on this game, honestly. Um, and I know that sound very <laughs> that sounded very confusing, but I promise you that like, it's it. You get you guys will understand. You guys will understand. Um oh okay, so I wrote uh shoot from far with SMGs, which is true. I remember um I had the gun, what was the um what is it? The I had the striker and I had the MCW. Those are the only two guns that I'm trying to like to level up to unlock more stuff to. Brother, you can literally be across the map and you can shoot people from across the map with an SMG. Yes, an SMG. Obviously, we, we all grew up knowing that SMGs are for, like, uh, like short range, you know. Um, if you want to hit somebody from a long range, you know, you can have an AR or you can have a, a sniper or a marksman rifle. Bro, you, don't, you do not need. I mean, obviously, if you're playing in, like, a, um, if you're playing in, like, a really, really, really open big map, it would be, you know, wise to, you know, get, like, a marksman rifle or a sniper rifle. But either or, you can still have your SMG and hit those people from a very long distance. It's crazy how these guns can hit people from very long distances, bro. Honestly, it's crazy. Um, oh, another thing. It has the old school feel to it. I don't know. Listen, and again, if you played the old uh, Call of Duty, I've been playing Call of Duty since I was, and I know, you know, Call of Duty's infamature, but I've been playing Call of Duty since I was like a little kid, right? And so, bro, like, if you played that before, like back then, and then like you played Call of Duty all the way up until now, you understand what I'm saying. Like it has like the old school feeling to it. Um, some of the fonts feels like it's old school as well. Like like the like the yellow font that it has. Like whenever you get a kill, um, things feel quick and snappy and fast. But also, you know, it, it's not cheesy. You know, it's not outlandish um, at all. Um, what else do I have? Um, campers. I mean, campers will always be in Call of Duty, no matter what. You can you can try to make a system where um, it forces everybody to to, to play uh, a certain way. But at the end of the day, and here's the thing, right? I can't believe I'm saying this, but I like I like that campers are back. I, I like that campers and campers have always been a they've always been a thing. I don't know why I say campers are back, but I like that people are still camping. You know why? Because at the end of the day, man. That's just what Call of Duty is. It's a part of the game. Different people have different styles of playing. Do we hate it? Yes. But at the end of the day, that's how some people play. Some people will, will literally sit in like a cheese spot in like a corner and wait for you to jump over them so they can shoot you. That's it. It's Call of Duty, bro. And, and it, honestly, if you play the game long enough, you will understand that. And, and honestly, those kills like that, like when people are like sitting behind a door and you walk through the door and they kill you, at the end... You, See, you can get mad all you want, but at the end of the day, that's how some people play. And, and, and it is what it is, you know. Um, so campers will always be a thing. Um, and it is what it is. I've just accepted that for what it is. Like campers are, you know, they're just, they're just yeah. Um, now, rust, rust campers are a different breed. Rust campers, oh, my God. they, <laughs> Bro, rust campers make you want to, like, kick a hole through the wall bro and i know that sounds very menacing and just very like school threadish but i listen to listen to what i'm saying right um in rust obviously there are a lot of it, it's a rust is a very um it's a big map but it's not as big as like the biggest map does that make sense obviously um and, and so 
they climb up the little thing and they sit on there and they just prop up and they sit and they shoot down at people. What else? People all, they, all people do is uh they get in like a corner in, in the rust map and all they do is snipe. Um, I mean, and it, it's just a different breed of camping. Like camping is one thing, but if you camp on rust. Ooh, boy, you make bro, you make me want to just throw away my breakfast and 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 just sleep in bed all day, bro. I promise you, rust campers are a different breed. Okay, so rust campers are back. Um, I mean, you know, it, it is what it is. You know, um, the TTK is perfect. The TTK is perfect, perfect, absolutely perfect. It kind of reminds me of uh, Black Ops Two when the TTK was a little fast, but like also it wasn't. It, it wasn't as fast as at the beginning of Modern Warfare 2. The TTK is is in Modern Warfare 3 open beta, right? And I hope Call of Duty, I hope they keep it like that. Because it's fast, but also it's slow at the same time. It's literally in the middle. It's perfect. Um, and the way I measure TTK is if I'm getting shot and if I have a chance to, to escape. So if I'm getting shot right now, boom, 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 and I'm running... That mean, and, and, and you know, obviously I get killed or whatever. Da, 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 da. Then I would say the TTK is perfect because at least I had the chance to run and try to like get behind a get behind a wall, get in the building. Da da da, da Right. Instead, at the, at the beginning of, uh, of Modern Warfare Two, um, bro, the TTK was bro ridiculous. If you got shot once, it kind of like it froze you. It froze you. It made you stay there for like one second and it killed you. And I'm glad they uh they fixed it. Um, you know, for for uh, for Modern Warfare for Modern Warfare Two later in the year, but um, other than that, the TTK is perfect. I have no problem with the TTK. Some people might disagree with me. It is what it is. Opinions are opinions, you know, and um, I'll always accept that. So, um, I mentioned this gun earlier before. The uh, MCW is absolutely ridiculous. It's cracked. Um, you can shoot from across the map. Legit, it is a SMG. Uh, perfect. Perfect. I think the MCW is a F, is, is a SMG. I think it is. I think it is. Um, if it's not, then it shoots like an SMG. Uh, another gun uh, that's good is the Striker. The Striker is absolutely bro. Oh man, the Striker is perfect. Um, and one more thing for the uh, MCW. If you have the MCW and you have like the slate reflector, that is automatically the perfect gun. Um, another thing, the tuning. So far, right and. I don't, uh, again, Xbox players, the uh, open band is going to come out for you guys on the 12th, right? I have it on the PlayStation. So far, I didn't, I did not see tuning at all. I'm going to be honest. Call of Duty, I love you, but I did not, I did not like tuning. I didn't like that um, because it, it was so, it, it was, you know, I'm not a lazy person, right? If I have to make a new build or whatever, I'll make a new build. Um, but it was just, I even like, at times, I would forget about the tuning, right? And I'm like, okay, what am I supposed to do? And I'll try to like balance it out with the tuning, whatever. Turns out, you're supposed to uh, put it at like a specific um, thing, and all that. I'm like, you know what, bro? I hope in the next Call of Duty, you know, they keep it simple, you know. And again, this is no diss towards Call of Duty. I love Call of Duty, but at the end of the day, um, you know, one thing that I do respect about Call of Duty is they try new things, right? They try new things. Um, Honestly, I thought I was the only one that didn't like the tuning thing. Um, they didn't have it in this game, so I think a lot of people must must have like complained about it, and that's why they took it out. Um, but yeah, the the tuning thing that's not in the game. I don't. I didn't see it. Um, the perks and stuff like that. When it comes to like the 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 gloves, the boots and stuff like that, I think that's a really good concept. Um, it's something that I never even thought about. Call of Duty would even like bring that to the table. But um, like the whole gloves and stuff like that, I'll be real. Uh, when I whenever I played for about four to six hours, I didn't even touch the the gloves, the vest, none. I just kept it the same because I just wanted to just play the game. Um, yeah. So, oh, do you have anything else? Um, um, okay. Uh, pros and cons. Pros and cons, and then I'll give you my uh, my overall rating. Right. Okay. Let's start off with the pros. Mm, yeah, pros. Start with the pros. The TTK is perfect. Um, the variety. The variety and weapons are good. I like that. Um, I, I see in the future, I see like on multiplayer or Warzone, I see a lot of people using different guns. 
me personally, I was never a fan of, and obviously, when I say I was never a fan of something, that doesn't mean that I that I go around and oh my god, you guys, no, I I don't, I don't do that. I I don't, <laughs> I don't have. Listen, I don't have the energy to to do none none like that. Um, but I like how everybody is using is using different guns, even though this is the beta. And so when you're in the beta, bro, only like two to three guns are open, like uh like per like you know a uh, gun type. Bro, people were using all types of different guns um, and, and, and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I like that. Uh, the variety in guns, I like that. Movement, perfect. Absolutely perfect. The aiming is, is perfect. Um, it really depends on your aim at, all, at the end of the day. I'm, listen, I wouldn't be mean towards nobody, but there is nothing wrong with the aim in the open beta. The aim is perfect. If you have good aim, you will, you will you know, have good aim. If you don't have good aim, I will consider you guys, you know, play more matches, try to get your uh, your accuracy better because the aim, there's nothing wrong with the aim at all. Um, the game isn't cheesy at all. The game does not seem cheesy. Obviously, you will run into people, you know, that that, that will, you know, try to cheat the game and, and stuff like that and um, head glitch and, 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 and you know, it. again, it is a part of the game. I can't do nothing about that. When it comes to... That's one of the things that I've always hated in Call of Duty, the head glitching. The head glitching is so ridiculous. If you guys know what head glitching is, head, uh, head glitching is when, um, let's say a person, let's say there is a, let's say there's a barrel, right? And let's say I see a guy's head, like, on the barrel. So his body is behind the barrel, and his head is just above the barrel. And as soon as I see him, I try to shoot him, but the majority of my aim is hitting the top of the barrel. It's just basically hitting the barrel, just in general. And he has a few a free lane at me because I'm not covered at all. I'm not behind something. I'm shooting at him, but he has a free lane at me. He has like a there's nothing else like he's shooting at me. And so obviously I'm gonna you know I'm gonna die because he's shooting at me and I'm shooting at like at like the top of the barrel. Like he's basically glitching. Like his head is glitching. Like you you, you get what I'm saying. Like it, it's it's cheesy. It's annoying. It's ridiculous. Um, but it is what it is. You know. I, there's nothing you can do about it um and, and yeah man so so far my official rating i didn't know i've been talking for 17 minutes my bad sorry guys um but my official rating for the modern warfare 3 beta remember this is only the beta this is not the full game uh so far and i know this is crazy because i never i've never given a, a beta like this high of a score before i'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. There has never, ever, there has never, even the uh, the, the Modern Warfare beta. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed my take or my opinion or my discussion or my rant about Modern Warfare 3 open beta. And um, comment down below, what do you guys think about Modern Warfare 3 open beta if you guys played it already? Other than that, I'll see you guys later for the next one I'm out. And 